Hey everybody, welcome back to COVID Connect. Today is the last video in our series on American Saints, and I'm really excited to tell you about Servant of God Thea Bowman. She's a pretty recent figure. Her cause for canonization only opened a few years ago, but her life is really fascinating and really inspiring. Thea Bowman was born to a black Methodist family in Missouri in 1937, but already at the age of nine, she converted to Catholicism because she was so captivated by the witness of the Franciscan Sisters of Perpetual Adoration, who taught at the school she went to. By the time she was 15, she decided to join this order, and her father tried to dissuade her from going into an all-white order. He said, they're probably not going to like you, and she responded, I'll make them like me. And that's exactly what Sister Thea did. Everybody she met was captivated by how joyful and how energetic she was and how much love she showed to everybody she met. One thing especially noticeable about her is how much she loved to sing. She sang every day, everywhere, every time she gave a public speech she would break into song. There's even a story that before her death, she was speaking before an assembly of US bishops. And she started singing, and she got all of them to stand up and link arms and sing together too. People who were there said that she even got the bishops to start to cry. So she was a really joyful, passionate figure, and she loved to travel around the country and speak about education and evangelization. She was especially passionate, though, about promoting black culture and black spirituality. She wanted to make sure that African Americans were welcome in the Catholic Church, and that they had an active and valued and creative role to play. One of her crowning achievements was helping to publish the first official African-American Catholic hymnal in the U.S. Church. But above all else, Sister Thea wanted to make sure that every single person of every culture and background knew that they were loved by God and that they had value and worth. In 1984, Sister Thea was diagnosed with breast cancer. That was the same year that both of her parents died. But even as the cancer progressed and became painful as it spread into her bones, she still refused to give up traveling around the country and speaking and sharing her love for God. People would ask her why she wasn't slowing down even though she was getting so sick, and she responded that she would live until she died. Eventually, she did die in the year 1990, six years after her diagnosis. But just before her death, she gave an interview where she said this quotation about her ministry, and it's one that I want to end this video with. Sister Thea said, I think the difference between me and some people is that I'm content to do my little bit. Sometimes people think they have to do big things in order to make changes. But if each one would light a candle, we'd have a tremendous light.